update 1.15 has just released on Gran Turismo 7, including lots of new features and three brand new cars. Be sure to like and sub if you're new and let me know which of the new vehicles you'll be picking up first. Jumping straight into the three new cars, all purchasable at the brand central. First up is the Roadster Shop Rampage for 300,000 credits. Next is the 2021 Toyota GR10 Hybrid for 3 million credits. And our third and final car is the Suzuki Vision GT for 1 million credits. Next up is something I hope they would do since launch and that is updating the cafe. Well, with this update, we have three brand new menu books. Book 40 for the lightweight K-Cup, book 41 for the Vision Gran Turismo trophy, and book 42 for the Group 1 prototype series. Books 40 and 41 appear after completing the original final book 39, along with a collector's level of at least 20. As for book 42, of course, you need to finish the prior menus and also have a collector's level of at least 30. Along with the new menus, you'll also receive a birthday present ticket, which can be claimed one week before or one week after your actual birthday set on your PSN account. Unfortunately, my birthday has already been, which means I don't get this, so I've got to wait until next year. Kinda sucks, but it is what it is. World Circuits have got nine new events added to the following locations. By all means, feel free to pause if you wish to read them. You'll need to accept the new menu books at the cafe for these events to unlock. Online time trial has been added to sport mode, as well as a display to show the distance of the penalty line for those that have been given one. As well as that, there is also other menu options which have been added to sport mode. And lastly, one of the more important features is that you can now see the progress to your next driver's rating on the My Page section. That's it for what I believe are the most important updates with 1.15 so we'll quick fire the rest as followed. You can now export images taken within GT7 to your PS4 or PS5 console and share on social media. New Orleans has been added to the Scapes section along with three new After the Rain additions. Top 10 stars ranking has been added to the License Center, Missions and Circuit Experience for those of you that care about leaderboards. You'll now be notified in game when you've unlocked new missions. The prices within the Legend Car dealer ship will be adjusted within the next update. Penalties have also been adjusted within sport mode and multiplayer, making minor contact between cars not deemable for a penalty. And there we have it. This is all the important bits and info for update 1.15 in Gran Turismo 7. Of course, I'll leave a link down below if you wish to look at the entire article for anything that I didn't cover. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you again soon with another video.